I guess we could head to the bookstore next then. Okay. Everyone want to go there? Yep. Okay. Uh, short distance there. Um, you guys walk in there and you see, let's see, you see a human, a human female. She has a long red hair, slightly big nose, um, at least from everyone else you've seen. And she uh, doesn't like greet you because she has other customers in there. She just looks like she's just doing some paperwork. You guys want to explore around or? Well, this yeah. is uh, Lagos thing, right? Right. So, yep. I'm going don't... to uh, approach the shopkeep. She the glances at you. I'm going can to I help you. Yeah, I'm going to ask her if uh, what kind of books or so she has for sale, specifically uh, anything for uh, any low level wizard spells, and then also. If she has any lore, arcana, or anything rare, just books in general. She um, She's used to kind of like explaining what kind of book she has. She says, well, we have some alchemy books, uh, plant books for researching specific plants in, nearby or in other lands, deity studies, uh, basic monster information. I'm going to stop her. I'm going to stop right there. Deity studies. Uh, what specific do you have on deity studies? Most most of the lawful good uh, deities, and also some unnaturally evil ones, such as Asmodeus or such and such, or Baal. Does she have anything written in besides like normal like common tongue books, history books? Does she have anything anything ancient written in uh, celestial? She she says it's a, a pretty rare language, especially since it's only really found in upper planes, especially like among angels, deities, or good deities, I should say. Um, she says most of the books here are in common, maybe some in Elvish, but most for the most part, they're easy to read. Um, so she doesn't have... Um... So, like, with a wizard, like, so basically for me as a wizard, like, I just kind of put my normal wizard spells. I can't, like, buy an extra spell slot or anything, right? Or I can't buy, like, a uh, level spell. You can buy, you can, you can find or buy scrolls, um, but they're generally either very expensive or pretty hard to find. Okay. Um, so then, um, depending on which one you're buying. She says she has some. She says they, they can commission some. They can't commission some scrolls. Like you can go get some, uh, take a couple days, um, and then she can um, bring one to you. If there's any uh, spell you like, we're just gonna be probably going back. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of that. I'm just gonna ask her if she knows any. Uh, if she has any leads then on any rare books or, um, you know, you know any. Is there anything here like in terms of like ancient historical sites or anything where I could find some ancient lore? writings carvings things like that interesting things mm. to record she says the um, the only thing really ancient i mean this city is an old um right i just mean like, nearby, it's, it's, like uh, yeah uh there is a she said mentioned there is another city to the north uh elsewhere might be your location pretty it's a bigger city than this one might have more of what you're looking for all right but she doesn't know any like sites nearby that be worth ruins or anything worth exploring she says she's not really she mostly stays in the city uh she says she does know you know the village nearby terrellin village but um generally she just focuses um her and her owner usually just focus here um is there anybody else in the shop besides her uh like customers or owners or yeah anything? customers uh, there's a few, you know, some elves, humans, looking through books. Mm. Yeah, all right, that's about it. I don't think there's anything worth buying at this point. All right. Is it just books and scrolls, or are there, like... It is mostly, a, it's like an informative, like if you want to research something, you can come here and buy some books on it. Um, well, not like... For scrolls, they, they don't get them very often because most people don't use them. Um, but she says she can contact people, bring them here. 
buying any sort of monster manual give me advantage when doing my history checks or monster checks or something or depends on what kind because so like you can research like you can buy books based off of um categories like celestials fiends aberrations and we don't know what we're doing after this yet so i'm just gonna wait i might buy some books later depending on what our next mission is and we're going back to brendel so yeah <laughs> brenton <laughs> brenton whatever jason <laughs> i'm just kidding but uh yeah so i'm good we can go uh to the end i guess she um uh, asking any of you if you have any business or you guys are going to leave too? Nope, there's no business for me. Um, no, no, no. Let's see. My character is going to quickly um, inquire about the wild plant life books. Um, and I'm actually going to purchase one about local plants. Um, that would, so I'll would buy that. Be, and it's. It'll improve, improve, like, you know, if I'm researching any natural life here, like, um, it, not, not animals, but plant life or basic animals, usually. So I'm going to buy that. It'll be quite expensive. It's going to be 25 but I'll buy it. I'm going to try to persuade her to lower the price. You know, that's right. Sorry, my character would do that. <laughs> um, he's going to try to... So how about like eighteen? Uh yeah. Let me see. Can I step into the room next to you? <laughs> like inti intimidatingly or No, I just want to stand next to you and see what happens. To ruin your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really uh, look at you. Um She says I'll do 21, and I make that deal, and I, I'm going to mark it off my character sheet real quick. But do you guys have anything else? Because I'm pretty much done with the bookstore. I'm good. Okay. Does, uh, I'd like to, okay, we can leave the bookstore. I guess I'm I'm done with the bookstore. Got it. Uh, does, uh. She wishes you farewell. We'll return the. Thank you for your time. I will politely thank her for her time as well. Once again, she, like, kind of like how Katya does, she gives a small bow and wave to goodbye. And, back, and then, and then she returns back to her paperwork. Is there any other stores we wanted to go to in town? Jason mentions there's a um, potion shop, Smith, which you guys have been to, the bookstore, there's a church, and an inn. Uh... And there's a general store too, but. What would we get out of a general store? Hmm? What would we find out of a general store? Food. Cool. Uh, I, want to, I want to go to the general store. Most adventuring gear. Uh, I need a basic adventuring pack. I need one of those packs. <laughs> didn't, you, potions didn't you already store. buy a bedroll? <laughs> I bought a bedroll, but isn't there like torches and stuff? Yes, there's torches, rations. So, 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 so. Or is that... Do I which need, one are you trying need, to get? Do we need to... Um... Hold on. Yeah, the Explorer's Pack, right? Yeah, that has yeah. bedroll, torches, rations, rope. I mean, I don't know if I really actually need it now that I think about it, because I could create light, basically. Um, that character says he can, too. I don't really need it. What can that. I do with this two pounds of food I got from the wolf that I got at one point? Uh, what, what was that? I do with the two pounds of food that I got from the wall. Yeah, how does food work in this? Do I need to have food, or are we just... Um, how I do it is... Um, I don't keep track of how much food or, like, arrows or bolts you guys have, but every now and then when you go to a, a city, I'll just say, just, like, spend, like, five gold to kind of stock up on stuff. Because it's too much effort to keep track of it all, so... All right, Should I well, keep the food or let it go? Do you think it's sell it? I say just keep it. You're not going to get that much for wolf meat. That's yeah. true. I will say it will delay for for you at least the time it takes for you to have to buy food. So, uh, I'll go to the store and just buy a little bit of food, I guess, just so I can. Well, you're not making me do a check now, I guess, right? You're being nice, so I'm. Gonna, uh, 
Well, I mean, like, so you said it would be when next time we go in the city, maybe or something, we'll have to pay some money for some gold. Yeah, and like, like if you guys go back to Terrellin Village, I might be like just spend like one or two gold for each of you just to buy some more food. Yeah, or I'm not like gonna arrows you need to buy. I'm not gonna buy anything then right now. I'm good. All right. Oh, so might be good. Like, I would like to go to the once. potion store. Okay. You guys all want to go there too? Yeah, I'll go to the potion store. All right. Um, guys, enter it. Uh, dimly lit. Um, you guys see rows of uh, not like a, a ton of potions, but there are dec- a decent amount of rows of um, the same size vial with the red liquids. And you see some rows above it with bigger vials, and then once above that with even bigger vials. Um, and you guys, you guys have had experience with potions. You guys know they heal more as you spend more on um, the more high-priced uh, potions. It is healing potions. And you guys are greeted by another woman. Let me see. She mentions her name is Laura, and you know, she's wearing a blue dress, straight blonde hair. She asked you if, if you guys would like to buy some potions today. She's human, dwarvish, human. elf. Okay. All right, I'd like to ask her how much her healing potions are. For each one of a standard healing potion, which you guys uh, will say you guys are the, those are the ones you guys have right now, the 2d4 plus 2. Those are 50 gold each. Mana potion of healing. Two by one. What was that? Mana potion of healing, right? And that, what was that, two gold? <laughs> it's 50. 50? For one potion, yes. Ramson was pretty nice with how much he gave you. Apparently. <laughs> um, is it chem- Would potions be considered alchemical objects? Alchemical? Yes. I'm going to ask her if she has any weird potions that she doesn't know what they do and just are lying around like mystery potions. She says she's strictly potion of healing. At least the shop is. She's heard of you know, potions that increase your speed, your jump. Well, I just thought, like, you know, somebody maybe sold her, like, a weird potion that she, you know, normally wouldn't give away to somebody because she has no idea what it does. That she she mentions she only buys potions that she either knows about or if they're potions of healing. So she's a normal, legit shopkeep. All right, yes. I'm done. I'm not spending money on a potion of healing. So she doesn't have anything that would be, like, night vision or anything like that? Not at the store. But those, I mean, those are... um. I will say those are expensive, but you can probably find them in in another city, usually. Because they take a lot of time to make and a lot of uh, resources you have to spend to make the potion. She says, oh, but the general store down has some torches if you want some of those. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'll I'll take a... I'll take a heal potion, I guess. One potion? Uh, Okay. Yeah. Can I talk her down to... 40? Yeah, go ahead and make a um, persuasion check. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I also rolled to see if she rolls lower than that. Oh, well, I rolled a uh, 7. She, um, I will say she also she also rolled a 7. Uh, she kind of like looks at you and she says, since you guys are new to the town, I will um, I'll break down to 45. Deal. For you. And she go ahead and mark off forty five gold from your um, inventory and put it one push. What was that? What, what is it again? It's two. It's a two d four plus two healing. My character would buy one, but he doesn't have enough gold. So, um, do you think I should get some more? torches from the general store you should have all yours you didn't lose any okay. yeah, like eight don't you or something like that well, i don't know if they burn up or anything oh yeah I had to eventually start. over time they over like like one you threw that in a cave and i've been throwing them one a you lot. threw into the <laughs> i would say two of them are gone um but okay. as long as every now and then you buy some more i won't really keep track of it well i don't want to run out you know and Mike, Mike actually mentions, he says that he has, kind of like how Lego does, he has fire he can produce in his hand and I have to use that as light. Well. 
And have torches. Uh, actually, we're my good. character will give you some torches as well if you want. No, no, we're we're good if everybody's got some. Okay. I think it's worth just trying to buy a potion for twenty five gold and running that persuasion check. <laughs> You're gonna try to ask for twenty five gold. Yeah, I'm gonna tell her since I'm a gnome and I'm tiny, I don't need a full potion to heal probably. <laughs> so maybe I get a uh, roll deception. Well, is it deception well, or she persuasion? Can see that he's tiny. Well, he's he's lying that he doesn't need as much, right? Is Let's that see. true? That I, I need a full potion? You would need a full po full potion, yes. If if you're just trying to bring the price down, you can use persuasion. But I was trying to bring the price down. I thought you were yeah. just lighter. He could have yeah, a just... 1d4 plus 1 HP potion, right? Those do not exist. <laughs> I was trying to persuade her. That was like my persuasion tactic. So let's see what happens. Come on, natural 20. 17 plus 1. I have 18. 18. She kind of gives a little good one. She says she'll, for you, she'll bring it down to, how does uh, 30, 35 sound? Okay, so if I try to continue to haggle, does that do I get disadvantage with my persuasion, or how does that work? Um, no, you can roll again, but if you fail, she might, you know, she might bring the price up a little bit, kind of like how what happened with uh, Martin. That's if I fail. Like when you say fail, like if I roll an eight and she rolls a nine, fail. If, that... if it was something like that, she would just say no, just thirty-five. But That's if you funny. if it's a oh, significant okay. difference. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try for that 25 because I wasn't playing to buy a potion anyway. So let's just see what happens. Okay. Come on, big rolls. One, I'm done. <laughs> so does she roll back up to 50 then, I'm assuming? No, she, she starts laughing more and she says, no, 35, that's it. Uh, and this is a one-time thing. You know what? I'm going to buy it for 35. That's worth it, so considering how much I almost die. She smiles and takes your. Th go ahead and mark 35 gold off. And go ahead and put one potion of healing in there. If you want to write how much it heals too, you can, but I can always tell you that too. I'll also let you tell me how much it heals. Okay. All right. Um, anyone else? Eli, you want to buy any potions or no? I'm good. And you know, this, this girl, um, sorry, woman, um, isn't. She's like gives you a couple glances, but she's not like necessarily afraid of you. So another person that isn't uh, in fear of your sight. So you say you know, that she's you? admiring the tea flame. <laughs> if you want to make a perception check, can I? I will. I will make a perception check. See if she's admiring the tea flame. Can I roll to slap a uh, first character with my tail? Seven <laughs> and perception, you say? Uh, so that'd be nine. <laughs> Probably can't tell the damn you, you, you have a hint, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, you want to slap him with your tail? You can roll attack if you want. <laughs> um, Attacking, is that what we call it these days? Keep my tail to myself. Uh, I mean, if you weren't trying to like do damage, you could give like a small tap. I wouldn't count that, but nah, I'm not gonna start shit. Even <laughs> <laughs> if the ranger is in ranger, <laughs> ranger All danger. Right. I I can kind of see him gesturing that motion, and I'm just like, take it out in the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What does a gnome have anything to do with this? <laughs> we just don't seem to get along at the moment. I'm sure we will. You probably don't hear it again, Lego. You're probably too busy. <laughs> I'm uh, going to roll a perception check. <laughs> Here we go. So... Oh, 13. Are you trying to hide it, Martin? Uh, yeah, I am. Go I'm going to shout it out at him. I'm only I'm only addressing him, right? I'm not shouting out in front of everybody here. So yes. So go and roll stealth if you want to. Uh, okay. Um, D twenty plus your stealth modifier. Uh, yeah, there's a D twenty. Ooh, here. that's one of my chosen ones. Sorry, Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, one. <laughs> the Lego for once, you you hear uh, what Tarnum has to say. And you're kind of taken aback because you're like, wow, he didn't like me this entire time. Or at least, <laughs> you know, slightly dislike. You're not really sure which one it is. I'm going to make a mental note that when I make his... <laughs> um... When I make his figurine, um, it's going to be really ugly looking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do that. The and, Laura and, asks if you guys have any more business here, by the way. And fat. I'm going to thank her for her time. <laughs> Give the little bow that they've been doing. She gives a bright smile and a little bow back at you. I bow to. And then step over the gnome and leave. Yes. And she wish you guys farewell. And you guys <laughs> I'm going to do store. it. I'm going to do a little bow and make a minor illusion of a flower as I leave. I'm going oh. to for that. Yeah. Let's see what I get out um, of this. No, no, you, you can make a, a small image of a flower and she appreciates it. Um, my character steps up and he looks at you and he drew, drew cra uh, crafts an actual flower and he gives it to her and he walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Show it off, I think. I'm going to cast Firebolt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flower. No, I'm just kidding. If you even tried to do that, I would bring out my blade. I would always protect the rest. Uh, you already walked out of the store, so if I did that, there would be nothing you could do to stop me. Just that is true. So, but I'm not I, would, I would noise. hear, though. I would hear him screaming at pain. <laughs> so I could come running back being on the fire would hurt quite a bit. Unless you no. miss and almost hit lack again. I was actually—I was joking about doing it at the flower, which would, of course, hit her and then cause the <laughs> burn the store down. <laughs> These stores are made out of not, wood too, so you can make the store. whole city go up if you burn yeah. anything here. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, just so you know, one of the spells I picked for today is burning hands. So, uh, I'd like to uh, ask Eri if he that. has noticed any. Thieves. Uh, would I have to roll for that, Aiden? Uh, yeah, go on roll perception. As you do know, you were doing this on the way there, as Lack asked you to. Unless you didn't want to. I was. Okay, perception. Uh, nine. Once plus again, uh, you probably got like plus two or something to your perception. Is that that's the initiative, right? That's no, the uh, per, your perception check or your perception modifier. It'd be your wisdom bonus. Oh. Oh, that's plus one. Yeah, you don't like like how Lax saw you. Don't, you see people chatting about, but you don't really see any unusual figures. This is an awfully friendly town. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to ask Jason if there are any taverns where the guards frequent. Oh yeah, the most popular one here is called the Sleeping Giant Inn. That's kind of like a tavern in at the same place. Um, it says, I mean, guards go there, or at least anybody that wants a drink. Well, I just figured maybe, you know, we could overhear some chatter. You could go there if you want. It's a, uh, what time did you guys get here? Like at two in the afternoon? Yeah. So it's probably, probably like towards five. Nighttime. Anyway, yeah. right? We're going to have to stay overnight to pick up the stuff from the smith tomorrow. Could eat so, some dinner. Yeah. We could go right. and spend some night in the inn and, and eat dinner and we have live to wait well. for Smith, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We have to wait till we pick our stuff up tomorrow anyway. Is uh Jason happy with staying at the inn overnight? He is. He's uh he's gonna follow you guys there. And he says, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, would you be able to either lend me a room with you or uh, buy me one because I gave you guys all my money. <laughs> you should have at least two gold because I gave it back two of his gold. Oh, that's right. He does. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll buy his own room then. I was about to offer he would bunk with me and Avaris, but uh, obviously I not. Just says no. <laughs> not going to happen. He could crash on the floor in my room. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, each room only has one bed, so if you guys, you guys could sleep on the floor in, a, in another room, but it's up to you. So we all have to sleep in separate rooms. 
You don't have to. Uh, I will say you guys can't all fit in one room, but okay. if you if you guys want to, you know, buy separate rooms or like have one other person in there, you guys could. And I'll look up the room prices right now because I can't remember. Should be around two gold. For oh no, it's and... less than that. I think. Well, it depends on how nice the inn is. I guess I was looking at the prices for a month. I think is about sixty for a nice lifestyle. Yeah, if you're staying there uh, long term. Well, I divided that by thirty, and just let uh... him let him make it cheap. We're in a we're in a wood town that apparently can burn down at any moment. <laughs> it should include like our food and our drinks, and you know, we don't have horses. Well, I guess we have the one horse, right? What happened to that? Staying at inns is the only thing I uh, really count for, because uh, there are a, a list of room prices. Um, How about a horse? Horse, you guys, you guys can you you can do whatever you want. It's allowed in the city if you want to bring it in there. But Chop could we just bring horse it? In the city? Um, since since we only brought the horse and the buggy, we found that right. Or do mm -hmm. we, we took that? Did we find that, or did he give that to us when we went on our little journey? He gave us the horse and the car. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna deliver it back when we're done. Yeah, I thought we found it. I was gonna say if we found it, we should sell it. it oh, we just to make you guys it. look like travelers. If anyone came across you, can yeah, we leave fine. it outside the and make sure the horse is okay? Yeah. It's a place to hang up horses. Yeah, we should be able to stable it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can right outside the inn. And I assume you guys, you guys did buy food for it, so you guys give that to it as well. Um, so are we at the inn now, or are we making our way over there? Uh, you guys do arrive at the end. Um, you see you know, this the title uh, hanging from a sign, Sleeping Giant Inn. Uh, you guys are greeted by the innkeep. Uh, another dwarf uh, uh, gives his name. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. An adorable accent. What was that? Don't insult this one. <laughs> that would be, yeah. Um, he greets himself as Oscar. I'll spot too. Um, ask you guys, what would you like? Some drinks, bed, food. Yes. Food and drink first, right? And then all three. Uh... All three, <laughs> yeah. and and fodder for the horse and the stable for the night. Uh, he says the stable Wait. is free, um, and I, I won't count the food and drink here. Um, because I'll count that later when you guys back to the village. Um, but the bed, um, I'll put the, I'll start typing the prices right now. So the food and drink for tonight is free or just for the horse? Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's free, but like when you guys, like I said, when you guys get to new cities and such, I'm going to have you just take off a cup of gold to buy food and such. Okay. Mm. Wallet. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, can I lean to the barkeep and say, <laughs> can I pay <laughs> to put the no in a room? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what now? <laughs> I don't know, what do you say? I can't hear him because he's laughing so hard. He says, uh, well, the squad room is like. <laughs> Basically, how that works is I let you guys, I let you sleep right in front of the property. Like you can just lay on the ground and fall asleep if you want. Wait, where are you seeing these room? Where, where are you seeing the squalid room stuff? Uh, this chat. is from the place handbook. Tabletop. Uh, but I, I put the all chat. the prices. Oh. I put all the prices in the chat. I would be but, happy to pay seven. Oh, I uh, bring up my. Oh. oh, I see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> modest, five silver, comfortable. I'll take a comfortable it's room. Really and slap yeah, is there any silver down on the counter. There any real... Okay, uh, Lack, go ahead and make, mark off one gold and then give yourself two silver because it's one gold is equal to ten silver. What um? What's is there any real difference with the rooms other than obviously squalid? Um... <laughs> yeah, uh, it's more like comfort. It's uh, 
to get like a decent sleep without because if he's like sleep and squalid or poor continuously you'll get some defects but every now and then isn't too bad you can buy a modest room comfortable no problems if you want to feel like spending a lot of money you could aristocratic or um wealthy but you don't really get any more benefits other than you're like you're they buy they uh, supply food for you like nice food food and nice wine um that's about it um i would probably go with modest as well can i intervene and give seven copper and put him in a squalid one <laughs> How would that work? Because he would be getting more money from me than he would be from That him. is true. That is true. He's going to rent an extra the money, squalid, ask you. tie you up, and throw you in the squalid? <laughs> yeah, he would like ask you Wait, if you want to actually he, take the he's, he's, he's doing this openly in front of me, right? Are you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm haggling, aren't I? And he's next to me, so... All right. I'm going to turn to him and say, uh, I think this joke has gone on far enough. <laughs> And I'm going to give him a look, and the look says, you don't want to press this any further, or I might throw a firebolt in your face. <laughs> I slowly unsheathe my sword a little. I say, don't even go there. My, my character's going to grab you and be like, no, not now. <laughs> not in the middle of an inn. We, you, already have, you already made one dwarf angry. I can't have you make another dwarf angry. <laughs> I'm going to look for a table near some guardsmen. That's empty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pay, I'm gonna. Pay a Are we all sitting together? I assume. At, well, as you look in Red Lock, I mean, you see one guard, but most, for the most part, they're all heading back to the barracks for getting ready for sleep. Um, I mean, you see, and there, there aren't a lot of people in here. There's like three, um, at, not including the barkeep. Um, well, then I will just, look, just go drinking. up and ask the guardsman if uh, he minds if I sit with him. He has what for? Just to chat. You so would be all awesome. make a persuasion check, like <laughs> as he doesn't know you. Uh, that's uh seventeen. Gives you a look and says, "Yeah, gonna pop a chair in." I'm gonna pay for my room. Five I'll silver. Buy him a round of drinks. Okay. Uh, for this one, I will mark it off. Just go ahead and take off another silver piece. What type of room are we standing over? He appreciates that. Um, you know, gives a little uh, jug in the air and like thanking you. What was that, Martin? What type of room are we standing? Uh, I'm gonna have you pay for it. Uh, go ahead and buy. <laughs> it's up. It's up to you. You can buy. You know, modest, comfortable. I'm okay with either of those two. Uh, I guess I'll buy as a comfortable room. Yeah, I'm okay. assuming that uh, these little boxes on the side of the sheet are silver, copper. I don't know what EP yeah. is. I assume BP is platinum. Eldrick pieces and platinum pieces, right? Yep. Okay, so, um, what would that so go ahead and take off a gold piece, and then it costs eight silver. So give yourself two silver right. as you're spending, you know, eight silver digit. And, and then uh, my character's just gonna go sleep. Gonna oh really? Sleep. I want to go to a table. Unless you I guys, wanna... unless you want to. Sit down. I'm okay I want to sit down at a table somewhere, and I want to invite the gnome to buy him a drink <laughs> in response to earlier. <laughs> I'll accept his offer. I'm supposed to be cheerful, I guess. I'm gonna take. Are you buying yourself one too, or just for yourself? Yeah, one? Yeah. Okay, go and get rid of your silver pieces. I should buy one for both of you. So we uh, we sat over here then, or something. <laughs> yep. You not having a drink? Uh, my character just gets some water. Not really. Okay. In the mood for drinking. Do I need to see? Do so where our, how do we know what our alcohol tolerance is? I am a uh, You make a... Per drink, uh, you make a constitution save, though. Uh, and it, at first, it's pretty easy to do it, but the more you drink, it gets harder and harder. <laughs> uh, for now, Lack, I'm just going to put this character here, just so you know All right. that you talked to him. Nope. Hey, for instance, back. <laughs> Gnomes won't have disadvantage yeah. in drinking, do they? Uh, no. Okay, good. I can just see, just see Corey and Sal and be like, you seem familiar, have I met you before? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what about uh, MPC here and uh, Tiefling Man? Mike. That's up to them. Uh, <laughs> there was some weird beeping noise in my headphones. It was the <laughs> someone clicked the clock thing, right? Oh, okay. What what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Martin asked where you're going to sit. Do you want to sit with us or somewhere else uh, at the bar? I don't care. I'll sit with you guys. Jason will do the same. He'll sit over here. Do either of these two want drinks? Uh, Jason passes because he's a uh, religious. He doesn't drink very often. Oh, I wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, just have some general chit chat with the guard about uh, what it's like to be a guard, which is sort of along what I've done. <laughs> uh, trying to pry for information about uh, anything that's been going on in the area, like any problems they've had on patrol or anything like that. This is mostly boring. Uh, I don't know why I signed up to be a guard because it's, at least in this city, it's pretty, pretty boring. There's not a lot of activity and the nope. pay is crap. <laughs> uh, I hear that. <laughs> Uh, it says nothing unnatural recently, but um, last time I went to the bookstore, um, the assistant there uh, said that her owner hasn't been back recently. So it's been a couple of days, but I'm sure she'll come back soon. Interesting. No owl bears, huh? Owl bears? Oh, that's only if you go in the forest. You'll find those nasty creatures. At Brinson, he promised us all bears. Can I uh, speak to Hanok and find out a little bit about what he does trying to attempt to repair this pretty bad situation with the gnome? <laughs> sure. Let me just uh, make sure like, nothing else you want to say, right? Or at least for now. Okay. So, there you go. What do you have to say? Um, I want to finish my drink first before deciding whether or not to talk. So, do I do a constitution throw for this or whatever? Yeah, go make a constitution saving throw. All right. If you're just going to down the entire drink right there. One. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's what I was hoping for. And he Com slides to the floor. Completely plastered. Uh, <laughs> he begins to speak, to respond, and then you see um, him just can I speak in face plant onto the table. Can I speak in celestial to him in response to his question? Yeah, can you make a few uh, phrases, uh, something about a dog or something in celestial, and then you um, pass out unconscious. I turn to Avery. Actually, you, you don't. Your face doesn't really hit. Like you don't face plant onto the table because you're too short for it. <laughs> you like you hit your nose on the side of it. And you <laughs> right there. Now, how long am I unconscious for from drinking? Uh, usually, I wouldn't say the whole night, but at least a couple hours. I haven't seen it very often, I must say, but. <laughs> I said to every single gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to down your drink, team, or? <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Actually, can I do um one thing before I pass out? <laughs> you can try. What would you like? In response to his question of what I do, I want to pull out my lack figurine and put it on the table before I pass out. <laughs> you guys see a little um, a little toy um, in his hand. Has a small resemblance of lack, but he can't see it right now. At least right now. Can we call him over here. when he's done with the card? Yeah, you see him chatting right now. Um, you can call him over whenever you want. But... Okay, I'm going to sip my drink and then in a little bit, I'm going to call him over because I wanted to call him over anyway. Some other stuff. All right. Um, Mike, do you have anything else to discuss with the card? Nope. I'll just, uh, you know, give him a slap on the back and head <laughs> over to join the group, I guess. Yeah, thanks. He's like, it's not very often you see uh, people that can relate to being a guard very often. Uh, thanks for spending time with me. Yep, not a problem. And he, he will actually get up and uh, leave the tavern as well. Um, he'll say goodbye to you and go. So you head back over to them, and you see the little black doll on the table. Or, um, Corian doll. 
I'm just going to roll my eyes at it. <laughs> Gnomes. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to chuckle a little and nod to you. And then I want to say, I think we need a name for this group. We plan on staying together quite often. I'm okay with that, but I don't hate any of you, so. I want to see that gnome meet his end. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Lego can't make us perceptional because he's unconscious. <laughs> I don't know that we need a name, do we? It's serious, uh, out of game, if he was about to die, I would heal him because I don't hate him that much. Just to reassure Lego that I don't actually hate Lego. <laughs> <laughs> we did try... Uh... Oh no, that was with Eli, right? You tried to give him a potion. Yeah. yeah. I would save him, though, if he was on the verge of death. Right. Doesn't mean I wouldn't like to see him struggle a bit. We did. We did, <laughs> we did, did save him. We gave dagger. him a potion. You saved me twice, actually. My character actually did. Um, I think I healed Eli and Lego. So yeah, you've saved me twice now. Once was um, the incident with the giant mosquitoes, and the <laughs> other one was um, in the very first encounter. I took a major hit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just going to tell you the information I heard about the, uh, owner of the potion shop being missing. Uh, bookstore. Bookstore. Okay. I thought I couldn't remember if it was a potion or a bookstore. That's odd that they didn't mention it at all while we were in there. Mmm, very suspicious. Uh, I will say I did tell you guys that, um, first, uh, I did mention the girl that was talking to you guys was the, wasn't the owner. And I did say yeah. at first there was a um, uh, no, no, a halfling, no. a halfling that rang. But uh, back when you guys were back at Katya, oh, I said that there was a, a halfling that ran the bookstore. All right, yeah, you're right. Pay attention, but uh, I did get that information from the guard. <laughs> yeah, he will tell you like her name. It was Marla, the halfling. He will tell you, you know, what she looks like yeah. and stuff. Perhaps something to do then when we've gone back to Branson and picked up our awards. I'll track down her. Bookstore was the redhead with the big nose. Oh, her name. Uh, that was um. Let me see, Martha. I mean, we gotta we gotta go back into town tomorrow, like in that area, to pick up the um. Right. The bed rolls. We might as well just swing by there and try to see what we can get out of her. Cause yeah, yeah I'm not suggesting know. we go tonight. Yeah, I spent. Uh, we'll be open anyway. Yeah, I'm mean, right. do it before we leave the village tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so I'll suggest we uh, swing by there tomorrow, see what's going on, and uh, I'll reach down and grab the uh, gnome. And Any ideas for up. name before you? The gnome's up so fast now. <laughs> what is this out of character? We want names. Well, it's like a party name, right? Or a group name. Um. No racism. <laughs> it's like no racism, but it's no. <laughs> um, like, is this what we're gonna call ourselves when people are looking to hire a group? Like, do we want people to know this is <laughs> no racism? Like, we'll enter a city and they'll be like, "Oh, look, that's no racism coming." <laughs> <laughs> we fight a dragon, and we're just like, "We're no racism." <laughs> We hear battle cry, we charge down the hallway. Gnome racism! <laughs> How do you guys feel about Gnome Lives Matter? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Gnome Panthers. I do not want to be associated with the name Gnome. <laughs> Any other ideas for anyone? I just threw that out there. I wasn't even sure if that was a real name. <laughs> <laughs> we can call ourselves uh, the G team, the gnome team. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 